Don't do you, Dad. You I'll do you. do me, Mom. You do what you. are you? Okay. Boy, I'm getting a new agent. I know you are. <laughs> Welcome back you don't to the... sleep with your agent. <laughs> yeah, that's rule number one. The rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Grumpy Plumber. I'm Jordan. This is my dad, Jim, the Grumpy Plumber. Thanks so much for watching. We get a lot of questions on water heaters, especially the TMP valve. TMP valve. Yes. Temperature and pressure valve on top of it used to protect the water heater. So kind of like what do you do with that valve? What's the maintenance schedule? Is there maintenance? How to, how to look for problems with that valve? Because it is there to protect your water heater in your house. So dad, what should someone do, a homeowner, do to look at that, that valve on top? First off, I'd say leave your damn hands off of it, okay? You know, everybody, they people say every time you walk by, flip that little flipper on it. No. You, all you're going to do is you might flip it and never going to shut off but you just look at it that is what saves your life if the temperature was to build up on the water heater and and and, and blow it blows off <clears throat> to you know to make sure that it doesn't blow up the house okay now on a gas water heater they're located on the side of the heater near at the top on electric water heater they're on the top now they have done that for about the last, quite a few years, they put them on the top. You just kind of look at it. If you're looking down at it and you find some water on the floor, it might be the TMP valve, the pressure, pressure temperature valve that is dripping. Then you want to change it. Of course, they're going to turn the heater off. They're going to relieve the pressure to the heater. Now, does the homeowner change it or you should hire somebody? You could change it if you got own a pipe wrench, you know. you. You change it, you turn it on, you put some pipe dope on it, some Teflon tape on it, you screw it back in, you point it downward. Okay. Or point it away from you. There are a lot of them have, you're supposed to have a tube that takes it down four inches off the floor. Some some uh, states require you to pipe it to the outside, and they're piped outside. But my philosophy, if you pipe it to the outside, and, it, and it's blowing off or drifting, drip, dripping, you might not ever know it. But if it's down mm -hmm. right there, dripping into a pan or onto the garage floor or the basement floor, you're going to see it. Then you're going to know it's bad. That's so if more, better the homeowner way sees it dripping, then they should change it should professionally change it. or do it themselves. Yep. Okay. You All can right. do it yourself. Don't, you know, you, know, you just got to turn the heater off. You got to turn the water heater off. You got to relieve the pressure through a faucet. Turn the faucet back off. Unscrew it and screw another one back in. You will get a little bit of water out of it. You don't need to drain the heater to take it out. What else should people a, look at with the TMP valve? If it's dripping, then there's a problem with it. But like I say, there is a little flip lever on it. When it does blow, the lever, you know, it's a spring inside of it. But people shouldn't be adjusting you that. You shouldn't be playing. No there's no, no adjustment okay. to it. There's two, there's two, there's one that's 125 pounds of pressure and there's one that's 150 pounds of pressure. Some areas like I think when I was in Michigan and they were 125. Mm -hmm. Don't hold me to that, boys. <laughs> and in California, they're all 150 because we have higher water pressure here. And another thing that the pressure regulator takes the pressure down before it goes into the house. Well, how about if it's like caked up with minerals? Or then it, you're, if it's caked up with minerals on it, uh, it's probably been dripping or leaking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want to replace it, okay? Mm -hmm. You want to replace it. Okay. Yeah. So but don't run out and replace every one you got in your house now that I've told you that. But you know, take a good look at it. Keep an eye on it. There you so go. That's your safety valve. But usually they're most, you know, they all usually work. Very seldom you find one, even if it's caked up or whatever, it still will work because the plumber's going to walk in, the first thing he's going to do is flip that lever and the water's going to blow out of it. So, but you know. Just to test it, if, it, yeah, if, he, if just he has concerns check. with it. Yeah, okay. but all if right. you got in there, you might as well replace it. It's about a probably 12 to $20 item, mm, okay? okay, plus the labor to do it. There you go. So. Okay, so that's what you do with the safety valve on your water heater for you. Thanks so much for watching. Click subscribe for more tips from the Grumpy Plumber. Yeah, and make sure that the neighbor kid doesn't play with it.